Hello and welcome. My name is Mia Donardi and I am with the Washington College GIS program. Today I'll be explaining projections and why we need them. Projections are important because we use them to visually show the Earth in a format that can take the 3D Earth that we know to a 2D image that can be printed on paper or portrayed on our computer screens. However, it is important to remember that all projections distort the image in different ways in area, shape, direction, and distance. The goal when working with projections is to know what you're going to portray and to pick a projection that matches your need in order to minimize the distortion that is most important to you. When mapping at a state level, you would probably use a state plane coordinate system. When mapping a continent such as North America, you may use an Albers or Lambert projection. When mapping at a large scale, such as the entire Earth, you may use the Mercator or Robinson projection. As mentioned earlier, a map projection is a systematic transformation from 3D to 2D. A datum defines the origin and placement of the latitude and longitude lines and offers the starting point from which the Earth's surface was measured. Datum transformations are used when switching from one datum to another and unlike projections are 3D to 3D. Datum transformations are needed when switching from one projection to another that have different datums. This slide shows the process of changing from one projection to another where the projections have the same datum. And remember, since they have the same datum, no datum transformation was needed. This slide shows the process of changing from one projection to another where the projections have different datums. And a datum transformation was needed because they have different datums. Although it looks complicated, the projection tool in ArcMap walks you through the process with drop-down menus. It is just important to remember that you need to pay attention so you know when a data transformation is needed. There are many different datums used around the world. A common one used when working with GPS data is based on the World Geodetic System 1984, or more commonly known as WGS84. Two commonly used North America datums are North America Datum 27, or NAD27, where the 27 stands for the year 1927, and NAD83, where the 83 stands for the year 1983. Maryland does have a High Accuracy Reference Network, or HARN, which was surveyed with more accurate techniques than NAD83, but Maryland State Plain NAD83 is still widely used today. It is important to remember to pay attention to the units you're using, as Maryland State Plain is either in feet or meters. This slide will walk you through the projection families. First, we have the azimuth or flat surface, where the coordinates are plotted on a flat surface, as seen with this image. Next, we have the conic projections, where an area is wrapped in a cone and the features are, pro the features are projected onto it and then the image is unwrapped. So you have the cone here that goes around the, the globe and then unwrapped to be in this shape. Lastly, we have the cylindrical projections where the globe area is wrapped in a cylinder and the features are projected onto it, as seen with this image. Some of the major projection types that I'll briefly talk about are State Plane, Lambert and Albers, and Universal Transverse Mercator, or UTM. In the State Plane coordinate system, each state is partitioned into zones. Some states have one zones and others have more, depending on its size and shape. Each zone has a specific projection, which is used to create the most accuracy. The UTM zones are based on the metric system, where each zone is 6 degrees wide and defined by a central meridian. There are 60 numbered vertical zones, 
and each have a north or south zone. So as we can see in the slide, UTM zone 11 north is present, or the N stands for north. Because there is a north and south designation, the numbers are always a positive value. And as you can see in this image, the closer you get to the poles, the zones become more narrow as they are following the meridians or longitude lines. Because of this, it is best to use a planar projection when representing polar zones. For the universal transverse Mercator system, a cylinder is wrapped around the world where it touches both poles, meaning the cylinder has contact in a north and south direction. No mapped point in UTM is more than three degrees from touching the cylinder. This map shows the UTM divisions in the continental US. This slide shows you some different ways that you will read coordinate system notations. Most of you are probably familiar with latitude and longitude being written out in degrees, minutes, and seconds, but it can also be written out in degrees and minutes or just decimal degrees. You can see how the state plane and UTM are written differently. As mentioned before, it is important to know what unit of measure you are working in. There are two common tools that you will use when projecting a data set, project and define projection. Simply put, project can be thought of as a reproject tool. There, the data set projection is changed from one to another and a new data set is generated. The defined projection tool is used when the data set is already projected, but is being described as unknown or you know it is incorrect. You are essentially identifying what the projection is with this tool. In order to use on the fly, ArcGIS needs to know what the projection is, and so define projection is a tool you may use to make sure it has the projection defined. Let's recap some of the important points discussed. Projections specify a 2D coordinate system from a 3D globe. All projections ca cause some distortion of area, shape, direction, and distance. Errors are controlled by choosing the proper projection type and are limiting the area applied. There are some standard projections commonly used. Projections differ by datum and is it important to know your parameters. And that is the end of the lecture. I hope you enjoyed our lesson on projections.